Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and uh, welcome to another video. I am pretty sure that you have heard the news that Mozilla is laying off 250 of their engineering team. And I'm not 100% sure but I think I read this also that in the January month also they laid off around 70 people. I love Mozilla. Probably you also love Mozilla because of some of the resources that they have put up, especially MDN, Mozilla Firefox, and we all love that. But sadly, love alone cannot run a company. In order to run a company or to offer a product, we all love free stuff, but in order to run that or to create that or to constantly update that product, we need some kind of money to run that. And I think I surely can really imagine what's happening at the Mozilla. They need money to run, to sustain, but they are somehow not making it. Love is definitely needed. We all need it, but just with the love, you cannot actually survive in a company or in a product. And I wish that we could do something to just offer more on the Mozilla. But it sometimes, it sometimes really get me onto the point. Just hear me out on this one. Eventually, right now, you are just learning programming. You are exploring some of the languages or possible options so that you can get hired at FANG, some startup or some companies. It's great. And you want everything to be free right now. Education, all of the softwares that you write, Sublime Text, VS Code, all the languages are free. You even want hosting to be free. That's okay right now. But eventually, there will be a time in your life when you'll be writing the post on LinkedIn, on Facebook, or whatever the popular website is at that time, that I'm leaving Fang or this startup to start something of my own, my own venture. And this is exactly why, I've, why I'm creating this video, to give you a thought in the early phase of your life, because eventually this will come, not to all of us, but to many of us, that you want to start something of your own, your own product, probably your own service, or something that you want to disrupt the market with. And this is exactly the scenario which you should think of right now. Not the laid off scenario, but how your product is going to survive. The entire market is all about give me everything free, which is far from true. But again, how you're going to actually make sure that your product or your service survives. This is still one of the biggest question to all the business owners or so-called entrepreneurs, whatever that, that word is. So this is still a big question that how much of your service or your product you can offer for free and how much you should charge so that it disrupts the market as well as you can survive because everything that you do requires money. You can have the product for free, but the engineers who are working behind the scene needs money to pay their bills. Infrastructure is a big cost. Bandwidth is a big cost. Hosting is a server is a big cost. If you're doing marketing, that's a gazillion amount of money and is really a big cost. So my food for thought that you should have for today is how you're going to survive or sustain any business. Just make sure you think about it. Whatever is your idea, maybe you want to compete with Swiggy, Zomato, Uber, Ola, which is 100% a possibility. But how you're going to compete in this market? This is the biggest question that you should think about. And uh, on top of that, something that still is a big question to every one of us that how much, what is my limit to offer something for free? Because not only just these expenses, which you can see right at front, you should also see some of the expenses, which probably a lot of people don't see around. Let me just share some of the example. Let's just say, you are offering a product for 100 rupees. Very nominal price. Everybody is going to say just ah, 100 rupees is okay. I love that company. But on when you are a uh, purchase of 100 rupees is being made, let's just say from mobile, which is a very common platform to purchase anything, 30% of it goes to Apple or Google, depends on what device you are buying. And currently in the market, we just have these two devices out here. So based on Android or iOS, 30% straightly goes away there. Then if you're doing business in India, 18% of that goes into government. And what's remaining to you, there is a cost that you have to manage for advertisement, pay your staff, pay your rent, infrastructure and bandwidth. This is what at least I can think of. And there are additional more uh, costing of that. So again, it's an important and just a random thought that you should have that 
probably eventually you will, instead of working with somebody, you will have your own product. So how you're going to offer that? How you're going to price correctly? I have read hundreds and hundreds of books so far in life and still couldn't figure out. And a lot of them were about uh, this business things and productivity and all of that. But I'm still not able to figure out that how to actually decide what's the equation? What's the factor of offering the things for free, but still having enough for the survival? I think this is something which somebody can write a book, somebody way smarter than me and having more business experience. I'm still not able to figure it out that how it actually all works. If somebody can share some of these thoughts with me, again, random Sunday thoughts, then I would love to know more about it that, or if you can suggest any book on that, I would love to read it. Again, this is not a video of sharing uh, some knowledgeable insight, but rather asking you a question and having a friend on friend conversation with you. So just let me know. What do you think about this layoff and what are your thoughts regarding this? How much a free product can sustain and how much can one offer for that? And still staying surviving, staying in the market. Like these are random thoughts that usually comes to my mind and eventually will come to you as well as you move on in the phases of your life. So again, I don't know if this video makes sense or not. I just wanted to have this thought out. So yeah, even if you didn't got it, you got, you felt a little bit bored of it. I'm with you. I don't know why I didn't, did even made this video. But again, I just wanted to share. So yeah, that's it. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye-bye. And there are some similar thoughts in my mind usually. I don't share them, but if you like them, I can share them. Anyways, bye-bye. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too